joining us on another segment of New England Veterans Liberty House, Veterans Serving Veterans. Uh, before I introduce you to my guests, or well, my returning guests, should I say, I want to go ahead and recognize a few individuals that have made a, a significant difference in our organization, and I'll get to that now. I want to especially and publicly recognize Representative Marco Devers and his staff and his office and all the delegates that um, helped him uh, pass a, an amendment to the, I believe is the physical budget for 2015. Uh, what he did was he put an amendment in for $50,000 to benefit veterans of the Merrimack Valley. So let me just say that again to benefit veterans of the Merrimack Valley. It was not specific for any organization that I know of. Uh, as of three weeks ago, we were uh, fortunate enough to receive a call from the Department of Veterans Services here in the state of Massachusetts congratulating, uh, congratulating us uh, as being the recipients of that $50,000. So again, I, I, a huge thank you from personally myself, my staff, and all the volunteers of New England Veterans Liberty House to Representative Marco Devers, Representative Frank Moran, and all the delegates that had a part uh, in this. So again, thank you very much for that. Uh, and, I, and we hope to have your continued support uh, moving forward. Um, I also want to take the chance also to publicly recognize uh, the city of Lawrence and Mayor Dan Rivera, which he is uh, my guest, my returning guest. But I also want to thank them as well, because I believe that this luck uh, of ours uh, actually originated from his office. Um, also want to thank the community development and all the board members uh, for the community development block grant. Uh, again, we were fortunate enough and blessed enough to receive $15,000 from the city of Lawrence for, again, to provide services for homeless veterans and other uh, in-kind services that we uh, also provide. So again, thank you to everyone uh, that had a hand on this. And I'm gonna go ahead real quick and turn to my guest, uh, Mayor Dan Rivera. Thank you again, sir, for joining us and gracing us with your presence. And again, really, sincerely, um, Thank you, really, thank you, because what uh, your office done in community development, um, giving us that $15,000 dollars goes such a long way. And people look at it as, oh, it's only 15,000. No, 15,000 covers a lot. I mean, with that, with that grant, the grant that we received with the $50,000 at 65,000, that's going to veterans. So again, uh, Thank you very much for that, and, 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 and thank you for the support. Well, thank so, you, JT. Let me tell you, it, yeah. you it's funny because people think they got luck. It's not luck, man. You guys do such good work. <laughs> and when people look yeah. in to spend money to help veterans, they say, well, where can we spend at the best yeah. place? And when that came through, you know, the um, the committee all agreed with it, too. Yeah, um, and was I was just glad happy to, to support the committee's uh, yeah. recommendation. And again, it's... Uh, and you're not. It's funny because the city's helping you out by doing the mm -hmm. giving you the dollars, but you you're, are. But you're really helping mm -hmm. the city out because you're providing a service that now is not being provided. Correct. Um, so Which is good. I always say that to people. It always seems like we'd maybe be doing you a favor, but really you're doing us a favor because we know we have such a big population to have <laughs> need. It, yeah, and it's true. And and the demand keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, we're noticing that in our office but nonetheless if we didn't have I mean it's a co collaboration between yeah. the city and us because fine you know we're here we're providing that service uh, but we are in a very limited budget you know all our donations as I keep saying uh, come from private donors um, through our website or through other cold calls that we do yeah so that's that's how we get it yeah. and to have that extra uh, funds there um, it just it just takes a, w a weight off your shoulders. Well, no, and, and I think the state when you think about state dollars and the stuff mm -hmm. that um, Representative uh, Devers did, th mm -hmm. that money is really a. They don't give that to just anybody. So you know, again, it goes it heralds about you know the type of organization um, that you have and that you run with your staff. I think that's the, uh, the what's let people feel comfortable that state dollars can be put to there yeah. because there's such a big need. I mean, and we do have a very generous um, veterans. Benefits pa for in, services, Ma in yeah. Massachusetts is one of the best I in the nation. I think so too. Absolutely. So this, on top of what we already do, is mm -hmm. gonna, uh, I think, mitigate a lot of the problems that we have that we see veterans facing every day. Yeah, and we do that, and, and unfortunately, you know, we we're gonna continue to see that, unfortunately, until um, someone in the higher echelon just puts. I don't know if it's putting more money 
Um, and fifth, well, money is always good, right? Yeah, yeah. You get new buildings and you can get other nurses Systems, and doctors. bodies, and, yeah. Yeah, stuff like that. But, you know, I think that I keep telling uh, Jamie, Jamie and I, uh, in our office, we have established such a good report that wherever Jamie leaves off because not because you can't do it or because of you know constraints that he has right because there's certain criteria that you have to meet in order to be eligible for chapter 115 correct so if he can't he sends them right to us and if i can't i send them back to jamie i mean it's just a great relationship yeah, yeah. that we established and obviously there's a bunch of organizations across the city of lawrence as well that i'll mention that uh we've been working with but again no sincerely i really i really want to thank you because you you might say that that, that it's small part but it's to me and you know how I how I run and you know you know me for many years and I like to do things by the numbers and and this is the way it needs to be done and I you know we have a board of directors for a reason because if not I, I'll end up just spending the money <laughs> just in one shot. so I'm glad I again I'm the president and founder but I am governed by a board of directors and I do get shot down a lot but that's good but, no they sometimes the second voice is always good and you know you want it to last and you want to have yeah. a good impression on the first yeah. run so that you exactly. know more funding can follow after. Yeah, and we have so far we proven we have we have a proven model, and we're hoping that uh, this uh, Department of Veteran Services grant, um, which we were told that it, it could be uh, a a revolving uh, not a revolving a uh, repetitious. It could yeah. be repetitious. It could come back next year. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that's what they're saying, and it might be a little bit more money. We talked to Frank Moran, uh, Representative Frank Moran. I had a quick conversation with him, so I'm hoping that uh, uh, next year we could put maybe for a little bit more money and and see. What where it goes. Success so. breeds success, man. That's it. That's it. So, listen, let me go back real quick because I failed. Uh, I got into uh, Mayor Dan River, but I forgot and I failed to mention. And uh, Council of the Plant and Jamie Melendez is, uh, would not let me live this down if I don't mention it. So, we're again, the city of Lawrence, still with the mayor and the council president, Council uh, Le Plant and Jamie Melendez, we're recognizing veterans uh, returning back home. It is so crucially important that you all reach out to us because we don't have that information as to when soldiers are coming back again for operational security reasons or it's just reasons we just don't have that that information. So if you know of anyone here in the city of Lawrence that's returning back uh, from deployment, please contact the Lawrence uh, Veteran Service Officer, Jamie Melendez. At the end of the show, you have credits with some number uh, phone numbers, either or Council of Plant, or you can call the mayor's office as well. Uh, again, the numbers will be at the end of the show and the credits, or you can give us a call in our office. I also want to mention uh, a couple of things, and I'm going to tell you that where that $15,000 that you guys have given us is going to a portion of this. So we have, again, uh, food pantry. We have our oh. food pantry. We were doing it just Tuesdays, yeah. but we, we had that money. We figured we, because of the demand, we're, and there's a lot of people. I mean, within the, we thought we were gonna see maybe 20, 25, maybe 30 individuals this year because it's so, it's so new. We've already tripled that. We've tripled that and we're like, wow. it's, yeah. So we didn't think that we were gonna get to those numbers that fast. So wow. it just goes to show you, um, you know, the demand and the, and the, um, you know, the need of our veterans finding an outlet where they could go, feel comfortable, not be judged. So we have our food pantries again, Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, and we're thinking of adding another day. Uh, again, we're still in the process of getting poultry, meat, produce with that money we're trying to yeah, do it yeah. once a month trying to get some uh, dairy in here we also just partnered up with multi-grain here on, on West yeah, Street they're a great company. West, West Street right yeah yeah West Street so we do uh, Tuesdays every Tuesdays we have uh, bread there as well so please take advantage of it and uh, obviously you all are but I ask that you continue to take advantage of that um, I just mentioned this thing that you talked about the giving um, recognizing veterans when they come home. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of an amazing thing what they've been doing in, in Council of Plant and, and Jamie. It is. They've been pairing up a new soldier coming home oh. with an old soldier yeah. that's already been Have home. Have you seen that? Yeah. It's pretty cool. So no, you, it's get, amazing. you get a guy coming back from it's Afghanistan yeah. and right there at the same time we're talking to a guy from Korea. From the old to the new. Yeah, yeah. And, and they, they exchange the flag to each other and, uh, and, and it's, we do a lot of stuff in yeah. government that's kind of pop and circumstance and you yeah. think, oh, this is just gonna happen again. And again. 
it's moving. It is. The family's there. <clears throat> it is. Um, and, and it really, you know, it harkens back, you know, when you come home, you feel like, man, well, this is such a special thing. We should do this for everybody. It is. And, and that's, it's so meaningful. And it's so meaningful. Not, not just that, is that you're also on top of that, um, echoing what the marriage just said, uh, that the, the flag he's mentioning is the city flag the that's city flown in the city hall, then brought down, then authenticated, yep. right? Signed by you, signed. That's one of a kind. Yeah. Not, not anyone is going to get that flag. Yeah. So, you know, to, cool. to 20 years, 30 years from now, when you go back and you look at that flag and you look at the uh, uh, certificate of authenticity, you know, that's special and that's meaningful. You know, I know for a fact if I was returning home and I have some type of reception like that, I mean, come on. I mean, you can't get any better than that. And I can, you know, my hat's off to, to you and to Councilor Plant uh, for, I uh, think Councilor Plant initiated it, yeah, brought it up to you and you just took just, and ran with it yeah. as well. And it's been, and again, th in this day where everything is like whatever, yeah. and YOLO and all this other stuff, yeah. like this is meaningful and we should do this in a real way because we, you know, the citizens of the, some, you get an okay from the citizens of the Commonwealth, you get, you know, that the nation loves you, but when you, sure. you gotta make sure your hometown mm -hmm. Gives you a hug cool. and a kiss when you get back, and I think that's what this let, is. Let me not let me not forget to mention your um, your signs. Uh, what are they? I don't know the proper terminology. Oh yeah, we do the, uh, the the the, uh, the the street lighted. Street yeah, the signs. LED. Yeah. yeah. Well, With the message, the message know, board, the license, yeah, light message, message board. Boards. That's it. Do you remember? I don't know if it was the first time or the second time. I think it was with Specialist Maldonado. I think it was Specialist Maldonado uh, that he said he was driving down Union Street, and he was driving. And he looked at the message board and he had to take a double take because he's seen his name. And so he actually stopped in traffic to look at his name again and realized, that's me. You know, I, I mean, that, mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, to him, I mean, I seen it was like uh, he had a smile from ear to ear. I, and I think that probably meant more to him than maybe the flag. <laughs> but, but, but nonetheless, I think it was it was special because you you not only did, did they do the ceremony in front of the city hall, they lowered the flag, they brought him into the council chambers. He had the and he was in uniform, you know, yeah. in front of the and 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 just again not to put a final point on yeah. this, but you know how lonely it is when you're away oh. and you wait for those letters yeah. and you're like you're talking on the phone. Yeah, if then, you get then, the chance to talk to the exactly, phone. and then coming home, it's like. Yeah. It seems like the longest trip. It is, because it is. Oh, my God. I, I remember driving up ni down up 93, but wait, thinking, when wait, is wait. this car ride going to be over? Didn't you get left behind or something? I did. You know what? You, they were so excited. This was before cell phones. Yes, you told me that. So it was before cell phones. It was uh, yeah. 1996. Yeah. It wasn't really popular, cell phones and stuff. So my family went to get me, and we were so excited. There were so many cars. Yeah. I was saying bye to people, and then my, all they all left. <laughs> so I was sitting and went Let me back. Let the question. What were you thinking right there and then? I thought, I can't believe this is happening to me. <laughs> but then I thought, you know, FUBAR, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it's going yeah. to be anyway. Yeah. It's going to happen to us in my type of luck. So How I long? sat down. My friend had actually given me a box of cigars. Uh, before he took off. Before he took car. off. So I left, I called oh, people, I left a message at my mom's house. I said, hey, you guys left me. Somebody come get me. And I just sat there and I smoked mm -hmm. a stogie. So they were here in Lawrence before they realized that. Oh, yeah. You were left I'm behind? telling you, JT, th there was no, it wasn't a, I couldn't call my cell phone. Wow. It was before cell phones. <laughs> so they had to oh, get home, no listen to the message, send my no boy back to get me. Way. Yeah. So I was just chilling. I smoked, well, you smoked a, cigar. a couple cigars. Yeah, welcome home cigar. I had already gotten all the hugs and kisses and everybody was, I knew everybody was back there, so it was kind of a peaceful time for me. That's okay. Um, but yeah. you know, that's coming stuff. back home. Stuff happens. Yeah, yeah. like that yeah, stuff like stuff that happens. happens. Yeah. yeah. But it was let me let me go here a little further because we have uh, uh, a little bit of time here. But um, I just wanted to ask. I know that you've been in office for about eight months now, probably something like that. A little shy, Eve. A little shy. Something, something. Eight, I keep seeing you on Urban Update and um, other uh, news, OTR, I think, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, on the Channel Record 5. Channel 5, yeah. Yeah, I checked that a couple of times. And I'm going to ask you pretty much a little bit of the questions that they ask a little bit. I'm not going okay. to give you those uh, um, quizzes or, or answers about <laughs> what they ask. Cause, they did have yeah, real questions. You know, how many was, members of the school? Yeah. How many kids are there in the yeah, school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, like, I like your answer. It's like, yeah, something about uh, David, David Ortiz. Ortiz. Yeah. yeah. So if you give me a hard answer, I'm just going to say David, David Ortiz. Ortiz yeah. and, so I got a good But of tell me, well, how's it been really, seriously, for your first eight months? Is it everything that you expected to be? Is it something that, um, I, obviously, I'm sure you have high expectations of yourself and, and your office. Um, but tell me, is it, has it really been... 
um, what you expect it to be? It, it's been that and more. Honestly, what, what, what's been amazing is how much people want to help. I know you've been saying that. Because you know, it, it's politics. People yep. think, hey, watch your back. Everybody's going to be after you. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, can't, you know, when you're going to do something, people are going to just, because all politics. Yeah. And we've been blessed, really, because people really? have, people see an opportunity here to change now, the world. Now, you're referring to, uh, uh, and I'm sorry to cut you yeah. off, Mayor, um, are you referring to other uh, politicians from adjacent cities? Are you talking about Other the politicians in the, in the city are talking about people who were against me before. Um, that's a big it, thing for you. Yeah, I mean, I mean we only won by 81 votes, so there was a exactly. lot of people who didn't went out to vote for me. So yeah. we just started to run the government and be everybody's mayor, regardless of whether or not you voted for me. Exactly. You. So, um, and then the state was not as involved as before. Uh, there wasn't involved in the last four years. So it was all this, what's going to happen when you become? So people they're can reaching out. They're yeah, reaching out But people you. can say you can be mayor and you vote and you win, but if you don't got the tools and the support, correct, you you really can't get You don't get know how to so put the logistics together. We've then. been blessed. The yeah. state has been there. The city councils have been supportive. Good. Um, everybody, we're working together. Good. Um, Good. I really see this as a team effort because I know I don't have all the answers. But I, and you, we, you know, you and everybody across the state. You're not there alone either. You yeah. know what I mean? You have really good staff um, behind you as well. Yeah, they've so, been very helpful. Yeah. I'm the only one in my office that's ever worked for government before, so there's you a lot of learning code. But yeah. they all come with their hearts on their sleeves, and they're working sure. hard to make the city better. They got great working ethics. I'm oh my God! And 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 the other piece of it is hey, Kate. Every, by the way, I gotta recognize <laughs> Kate because thank you, Kate, for making my life painless <laughs> when I'm calling you. Because I call her, and she's she's a doll, man. She does really, really good work. Yeah, no, yeah. the staff is very dedicated, and we you know we make we work them hard, but they yeah. do a good job. But the other thing is that statewide, people want to help Lawrence statewide. Really, I just you know what I born. I have a hard time uh, visualizing that, and and not because yeah. it's not because I don't think that that you know i'm sure it is because of obviously their new administration right but but all the past doings it's like um it was like a cloud uh, based around lawrence for yeah. so long and, and not just the like, last four years the last th yeah. th generation of stuff we've yeah. missed so many opportunities but they saw that people went to the polls they changed the leadership yeah. And they were voting for something new. Yeah. And everybody was, because we got so much coverage, everybody was watching yeah. it. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Everybody was watching it. Yeah, so I, been, I went to meetings with mayors, and they're like, oh, my God, you, God, thank God. You know, we were right there with you. They had followed yeah. the whole thing. And I'm thinking, Well, it was a nail-biter for me. I'm going to tell you straight up. It was up. a nail-biter. It was a nail-biter. It was. I was. I didn't even want to see newspapers. <laughs> I, I, I'm serious. I didn't yeah. want to. You know, people tell when uh, you did your uh, get-togethers on Essex Street in your uh, campaign office, I didn't want to go. I, I mean, I went there and helped out a few times, but when it came down to the very end, because I was one of your uh, poll checkers. Yeah, yeah, you came yeah. in. Yeah, and, and after that, I just, okay, here's a clip. I got to go. See you. You don't want to hear it. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> it was just, yeah, it was hard for the stomach. You know, it is. Because the city during that time, though, Mayor, was, was divided. Yeah. It, regardless how you see it, the city was divided. Absolutely was. You know, 81 votes, like you said. Was it, much. it was forty nine ninety seven yeah, to first, right? Forty nine point nine seven to forty yeah. to fifty to fifty one. Yeah. I mean, so it was really close. So, you know, it's again. Uh, it was a statistical tie. Eighty one votes is a statistical, statistical yeah. tie. But again, if you go back to it, uh, we knew that. And so yeah. first day, we just opened the windows, opened the door, say, "Hey, everybody's welcome. Then we're going to do this thing, no, right?" You, and change this whole idea yeah. that, "Oh, you're not with me. We're going to go after you." I'm going to say something, Mayor. It was a class act. On your part, on your staff, it was a class act. Um, you know, being out there and not badgering anybody was just, hey, this is water under the bridge. Let's move off for the betterment of the citizens of the city of Lawrence. Yeah. And and I think again, I congratulate you on Thanks. that because it was a class act doing that. But let me um, let me go into a little further here now. I'm going to talk about your new common news, and the reason why I want to talk about this is because um, and. Yeah. Well, right. All right. So you're, there's a new. Um, if you newsletter. go on a website, in the city of Lawrence website, there is a newsletter, and it's gonna. I think this is the first edition that yeah. I have. Cityoflawrence.com. You can yeah, go. Yeah. Right. City. Cityoflawrence.com. And well, I'll have a. I'll have. A, I'll have this up at, at the end. But what I like about this is that it's it's very informative, right? I mean, I was uh, one one thing I was gonna bring up. You had a. Um, the cable news was being uh, oh a public viewed. hearing yeah I think it was but it wasn't very well represented by the city of uh, the citizens of Lawrence no. it wasn't a senior citizen center I believe yeah, I and so I looked I was watching that and I was like well I, I didn't know about that 
I, I would love to go to stuff like that. And I was like, well, here it is, yeah. right? So I think there's, I was going to tell you, I, I, this needs to be advertised yeah. more so that people could know, if you don't have to be on television, you know, once a month and telling people about it. Mm -hmm. You got, I mean, you got here on your website. Just well, that's one of those things. Go. This thing is, um, the newsletter is really about telling people what's going on in the city, in the city departments, and stuff exactly. they pay for with their, with their tax dollars and information they get and get to know some stuff. And so we really do this for that. Correct. My picture's not in there. I try not to do it like, it's not a publicity for me. No. It's not like, no, here no, are the hundred things so. that we've done. No, no, no. I, no. I, you know what? I, when I was reading this, and I'm sorry, when I was reading this, I, you know, I didn't even feel like that. I just yeah. felt that you were just trying to um, get the information to the citizens so that citizens could be aware and informed of what you're doing in the city. Yeah, so we, we're and trying to great. do, and so every, we're going to do this, I think, every two months. Um, and we're going to have all, a bunch of good information. Correct, because your edition that. one, excuse me, is May and June. So edition two is going to be July and August. I'm going to assume. Yeah. So if you have information you want to share too, that we we can put it in there. We have it's a four page or I think if you do. Uh, I believe it is. Yeah. You do double sided. It's four pages. Yeah, I believe it is. Um, but but there's a lot of great news here. I mean, you have that. You have the new uh, route. The bus, bus route. route. Yeah, Talk a little bit route. about that. That was cool because we came into office and we get a briefing from the guy who, who runs the Merrimack Valley Regional Transit Authority. Mm -hmm. And he says, yeah, here are the, all the buses, the way they go out. And you can get on a bus and go to Haverhill. You can get on a bus and go to Salisbury Beach. You really? Get a from here? Yeah, from here. You can go to um, the mall in, in New Hampshire. But you, can't get, you couldn't get on a bus on Broadway and go to Essex Street. Come on. You'd have to get on another bus That's that would go by Essex Street. Inner and you couldn't get on a bus on Essex Street and go to Broadway. So what we so said is... So you couldn't get to downtown no. on, on any of these... No. So, really? And you couldn't get to... From the intersects, you have to get to... You actually, if you weren't on the route mm -hmm. street, you couldn't get back into town. So what we said was, let's do a downtown shuttle. So now the shuttle starts at the senior center. And it goes okay. up, Haverhill Street, up Haverhill Street to Lawrence Street, Okay. Lawrence Street to Park Street, Park Street to Broadway, Broadway to Essex, Essex to Haverhill. And that brings people from the core of the city downtown. Downtown. So, so and it also helps circulate people and around the business area. I could have sworn I used to see buses around that. No, so I'm wrong. No, I, no, I, there were, the buses are there. That's the thing. But they're all going out. And coming back in That's on the same route, what it but is. they weren't taking you around the downtown. So we, you know, really, it's good. So let me ask this then. Here's a million dollar question then. Since that's been um, implemented, how many riders have you had so far? The numbers are good so far. I think they're up to forty plus a day. So really? driving around, driving around the downtown, and that's. I mean, if you think that across the thing, and it's early. It's summertime. People aren't around. The school's out. As soon as school starts, what we found out was this. We were doing it to get people to circulate. We forget, we we didn't think the library's on the on the route, so people can get a bus to the library. So if you live very true on Broadway, you can get on the bus and go to the library. Very true. If you live uh, on Haverhill Street, you can get on the bus and go to the library. Very true. Um, if you live on Park Street, you can get on the bus and go to the library. If you're eld there's all these elderly homes that are on the route. So if you're elderly, you can get on the bus and go to Walgreens. Downtown, Walgreens. You can go to CVS. You can go to a doctor's office. Wow, so it didn't come into a And we uh, didn't uh, think about that piece of it. A huge demographic, Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. when the bus goes through the corner of Lawrence and Park Street, it goes right by one of the busiest family health centers in the city. As the Greater Lawrence, family, 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 family Health Center. And so now you can take, if you're a poor family that lives on Haverhill Street in Lawrence, or you're a poor family that lives on... Um, in, in one in one of the um, the el a poor person who lives on Essex Street on one of the elderly housing. You can get on that bus and you can go to Grand Lawrence Family Health Center. Wow. Well, that's 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 great to hear. That's really really great to hear. And I'm glad that and it's you cheap. Said it's like a off. It's yeah, a, it's like a dollar it's with a buck the uh, ride card. Go, yeah, the ride card is a buck. If you go and you pay at the at the door, it's a buck twenty-five. If you're elderly. It's fifty cents with the ride card, or sixty cents without the card. Outstanding. So it's good. That's good. So it's, it's affordable for all. Absolutely. And you know what? It, this is just it's just a perfect example where when you're having fun, time flies. And I just got informed that I had like maybe one minute left. So, Mayor, thank you very much. I think we're gonna have uh, uh, another segment coming up, but uh, uh, thank you and stay with us. We'll be right back.